You might remember around this time last year, a squatter showdown on Hillcrest Street went viral. This video here seen by countless people oh, around the world. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, we remember that for sure. Tonight's 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl is back at that house with new concerns. So, Ronnie, what's going on in that neighborhood now? Well, I'll tell you what, the neighbors really keep a close watch over this house. When someone broke in a few months ago, they reported it to police. And when neighbors moved in again a few weeks ago, well, they started asking questions. And then they became concerned all over again. On Detroit's east side, Hillcrest Street is a gym. Quaint houses with manicured lawns and neighbors who care. That's why when people recently moved into the house with the red door and their story didn't add up, neighbors called me so I could try and figure out what was going on. So your daughter lives here? She just <laughs> bought this house. Why? She bought it? She's buying it. She's rent to owning it. It was two weeks ago when I first stopped by. Because we're just confused because there are no records that this is being bought. She has her paperwork, right? Yeah, maybe? Possibly? Yes. Yeah, we just want to make sure she's not being scammed. Because if she's being scammed, we want, to, we want to track down the scammers for her, you know? As the daughter, the dog, and the rest of the family get into the SUV and leave, mom and dad tell me they're going to get to the bottom of things. So why haven't I heard from them? Not a phone call, not an email, not a peep. So since I was in the neighborhood, I decided to stop back by. But my knock on the door was ignored. Hello, it's Ronnie with Channel 7. I can hear you guys in there. It's not the first time I've knocked on this door. Last year, squatters invaded the house, which is owned by Chase Bank. It took months for them to be evicted, no, and they didn't not? like me asking questions. Don't even think about throwing that on me. Which is why I am here again today. Detroit police also stopped by, but we don't know why. Chase Bank is confirming the house has been infiltrated, and the water shouldn't be on either. Well, according to the water department, it's not on legally. Um, can you get that out of my face? No, because we just want to make sure you're here legally. Out of concern for the neighbors, we are not talking to them on camera. Councilman Spivey, this is his district. He is aware of what's going on with this house. He is working very close with Chase Bank and the authorities there, not only to make sure that this house gets secured, but he also wants to get the home into a legal and responsible homeowner. And by the way, I know people are going to email me saying I'm picking on poor people. That's not what this is about at all. It's about being responsible and also it's about the safety of the neighbors. People would move in, they'd be quiet, life would be good. For now, we're live on the city's east side. Back to you. All right, Ronnie, we know you're on it. Thank you much.